All right, so welcome to yet another edition of What Did My Mother Find? All right, Mom, what do you have for me? Okay, here I am. Okay. I'm liking that. All righty. That's I cool. $30 for a batch of this stuff in here. Okay. And I paid $25 for another batch. Uh-oh. And then the others, just miscellaneous that I had hanging around. Okay, cool. Well, listen, I'm digging this R2-D2. <laughs> I thought you'd like That's that. That's pretty cool. Love <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can get this thing to work. She says it works. Oh, come on. You like it? I love it. That's hilarious. All right, R2-D2 thermos. Well... Let's see what we got okay. in here. We should we spill it out? Sure. And then you can help kind of detangle right. the mangle here. Okay. Oh dear. So what what we can do is let's just sort of okay. set it up for me to grab. That's what it looks like. I see something already I'm gonna like. Alright, JTV.com. So that's like a QVC or an HSN. They sell really nice stuff, actually. Okay. Whoa. Pretty, huh? Do you remember if this was what lot this was in? Just one of them? I'm sorry, I don't. Wow. That is something special right there. You know, I went to my jeweler with some of that jewelry, so everybody should stay tuned for that. But when I showed him one of the pieces I had... Um, he was really impressed by it. I mean, even though it was cubic zirconia, I didn't realize that. There's apparently cubic and then there's cubic, if you know what I mean. Oh, look at this. It also has the earrings. Wow. Now, who would think that these aren't real? I mean, that totally so much looks real. And you have the whole set here. So pretty. Necklace ring. Rhodium plated sterling silver... Mm, diamond simulated diamond of course ring necklace ears jewelry set wow well that's beautiful i bet you this is worth a little bit of money too so that's wow that's incredible <laughs> what i love about this is it's new too mm -hmm. not used mm -hmm. okay. so i love this box i'll tell you that i hope there's something old inside mm -hmm. oh look at that okay it's an old watch box i love this deep purple color what are these? Oh, how sweet are these? Guilloche enamel, little pink rosebuds with a little pink rhinestone accent. Love, yeah, okay, they're coros. They look like coros, don't they? Oh, those are absolutely charming. I love that. Oh, what's this? What's this crazy thing? Whoa. That is pretty amazing. Look at this thing. Ah, it's got a little bit of de degrading going on. That's cool, though. Sort of like a slinky almost. I love the colors, but it does have some problems here with enamel. I do love it, though. Look at it from the side, too. That is awesome. Uh-oh, I think I see something else I need to see immediately. Look at this thing. Okay, so this looks like a fetish necklace thing. Let's see. Now, these are the things that are really outside my area of expertise uh, because, you know, I live on the East Coast, and this isn't stuff I see all the time. But uh, let, me just, let me just hold this better than I am right now. Okay. So that's what we're looking at. It's sort of doubled up. And it has lots and lots of stuff. You know what I really like about this one is they're really little, all these animals. Let's try to make sure it stays focused. Yeah. Wow. That's really cool. They have these he, she beads, some turquoise. And wow. I love this. Let's see if it's signed. Um, do I have my eye? I don't think you do. Uh, let me go grab it. Hold on. Okay. I just got my loop. Let's see what you say here. Well, this certainly looks sterling without a doubt. Interestingly, the hallmark looks like a bunch of squares, like a bunch of sort of boxes. Let's see if I can get it. But I cannot make out what's in there, if anything. I don't know. 
so that's likely somebody's some artisan's signature in these little boxes but i i can't read what it says i don't know maybe this is a good thing i'm not sure if anybody knows let me know i really like this this one pendant right here the turquoise i really love the coloring on this isn't that cool well that's awesome mom Good. Really awesome. Do you know if you have any other Southwestern stuff like this? I don't think so. No, this is just the one. Okay, well, we'll take it. Now look at this thing. This is a beautiful cuff. So this looks to be some sort of a, I don't know, Middle Eastern maybe? Let's see if this is marked. I don't see anything there. Hmm. It's very pretty. You could probably do a, a Google image search and find out what that says. I'm sure it says something really nice, like peace and love or something. So this one seems to be silver, but not 925. It may be 800 or even lower. It seems like it might have some silver in it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't see any markings, but I really like this. Wow, you did really well. I think this one's really nice too, Mom. Good. That's awesome. Very good. I see a little... A little candy cane. I might have the same one. That's great. I always love Christmas jewelry. Yumi and Nanny were always all about the Christmas jewelry. Yes, we were. Super fun. Yes, we were. It was fun to wear. On your coat, right? Yeah. This is some copper. Ooh. I love copper jewelry. I hope I'm not constantly going out of focus like I think I might be. Oh, there's two in here. Really? Oh, that's very nice. Copper is apparently very easy to work with, and artisans really enjoy it because of that. It's very warm looking, isn't it? It is very warm looking. Yes, I agree with you. So, um, what are these things called again? Conchos, is that it? I think so. This is in really great condition, that's for sure. Neat. Let's see what this one is about. Well, this definitely came from the same place, right? Uh -huh. Somebody must have loved copper. Oh, look at this. Huh. Now, at first I thought that was a design or a flower or something, but these are like little, a little guy on there. I wonder what this is about. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's signed. Let's see if it's a Renoir or anything. Of course, Renoir was a very famous copper company. It was based in California. And uh, then they branched off into Renoir Matisse. And the, when it says Matisse, it features uh, enameling as well. But anyway, this isn't marked. I don't see anything on this. I can take a closer look later. That's really gorgeous. I love this. Wow. So far, you got no duds. Okay. You got no duds. Here's an old signet ring. LM. These are usually just gold filled or this one's fake, but it's probably old. Let me see what it says, just for a laugh. Yeah, it says 10 karat GF. So, wow, somebody really scraped the inside of that, I think, to, to make sure someone probably tried to pawn it at one time. See, it's really scratched up in there. It's unlikely that somebody's finger would have scratched it like that. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I thought this was a bracelet. That's interesting. Look at this as a necklace. Hmm? Check this out. From the sea, indeed. This just missed my my uh, under the sea video show, jewelry show. Yes. <laughs> Fish, shells, seahorses, gold tone. That's adorable. What I really like about this one is it's very, very long. That's really nice. Really nice. Cool. I like the sound this makes. You know when jewelry just sounds good? Oh, whoa. What in the world is this thing? Hold on. You want to um, you wanna untangle some of these as we're going here? Sure. Some of these seem tangly. Mm -hmm. um, oh, my God. Wait, what is this one, too? Okay. Whoa. Yeah, this one's a winner and a half. I love that. Yeah, just costume. You can tell it's costume kind of from a mile away, but I love this. That is fantastic. What do you think? It's cool, right? It reminds me of a Sarah Coventry. I don't see anything on there. 
Maltese cross, I guess, yeah? Very cool. Let me see if these are plastic or glass. Plastic. Very nice. I really love this. That's great. Okay, now let's get back to this thing, which I'm not going to know anything about. Huh. Well, that's quite pretty. You know, it's hard to show the um, <laughs> show the necklace as well on this, you know, on the camera. I kind of need my neck model. Mom, you want to be my neck model? Oh, no. <laughs> Gosh. You have a nice neck. No. <laughs> well, this is cool. I don't know. You think this is probably all fake? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. Hold on. Well, that does say 925, so I don't know. Maybe those are real turquoise uh, things. I don't know. Let me get some nail polish remover. We'll check it. All right. So I have a little bit of Q-Tex and I have a cotton swab. So let's put a little bit of this nail polish remover on here. Now, I believe if this is fake turquoise, when I rub the nail polish remover on here, um, the cotton swab will turn blue. So let's take a piece in the back, just in case it screws it up. I don't know if it will or it won't, but let's, let's have a look. So I'm rubbing pretty hard. Oops, let me get this right over here. Yeah, there, there is plenty on there, actually. So I'm really giving it some power here. Hmm, I don't see anything. I do see some dirt. Did you see that? But I certainly don't see any blue. So, I don't know. This may be turquoise. It really does look stunning, I think. I really love this. And the fact that it's on sterling silver, you know, might be indicative. I don't know. Well, I love it. I'll take a closer look at this, Mom. This is another winner. Right. Very cool. Why do you like it? I do. We have the same kind of taste. <laughs> Whoa, the 80s called. They want their face pin back. <laughs> this is great. I think this, I think you could make these yourself. This was maybe was even handmade by somebody with that stuff that what is that again sculpt sculpty clay or sculpy clay mm -hmm. i know we've sold it before we got some years and years and years ago that we sold on ebay that's actually in really nice condition that's kind of cool you know they're trying to like give it a, a deco look but it is an 80s thing still cool whoa what is this one i hope this one's real doesn't look it it does look like it's maybe Sterling, who are you? 925 China, okay. Well, this is really beautiful, actually. Yeah, simulated diamonds and sapphires. That's, that's beautiful. This is another one, you know, if you wore this, uh, nobody would know the difference. You know, you're not, that, not that you care. I mean, I don't care if I wear costume jewelry. I don't have to look like I'm wearing something real, you know? Really pretty coins. And they're, they have, like, curvature to them. I guess they heated them up or... And then I don't know how they would do this. I don't think these coins are all supposed to be rounded like that, right? 72, Peru. Huh. Interesting. I really like this a lot. Coin bracelets are a very, very old form of jewelry. Here you go. Nice. Oh, no. This is terrifying. Why would you hand me this? You know I'm afraid of him. Who is this? Is this a Cupie? No. Who, who is this? What fresh hell is this? I don't know. All right. He's kind of cute. He's growing on me. You like his little flannel shirt? I like him. I like him too. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we're not seeing that much gold today. You know, that last time was literally like of a lifetime that was like the hall of a lifetime don't expect that to happen every yeah, time right, right? <laughs> ah this is very very pretty oh look at these stones how nice is this this is thick ah hmm so i think there must be some sort of a relic in there i don't see anything in there um hmm i don't think it's a stanhope because 
you can't see through the other side. Well, this is very, very lovely. Wow. These are interesting, these. I've never, I don't know if I've ever seen a rosary that didn't have round stones on it. Very, very pretty. You breaking stuff? <laughs> it looks like I am, yes. <laughs> What's in this, something yeah, good? I think so. Ooh, whoa. Look at these pearls. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, these pastels are killer. Yeah. Wow, I love that. Oop, somebody's hair, somebody's gray hair. The other day, um, I think you saw the video, right, when I was talking about hair jewelry and morning jewelry and how, like, if hair is on your head, it's beautiful, but as soon as it's not on your head, it's like the most horrifying, disgusting thing. And, um, you know, I guess I agree with that. <laughs> I mean, unless it's in jewelry, but I guess when I find it tangled in my jewelry, I don't really love it. I guess it is kind of gross or in your food or whatever. Well, this is beautiful. I think this is, I don't know, these might be glass. They're pretty regardless. Yeah, these are beautiful. Uh, I think these are just faux and they're glass and they are absolutely gorgeous. It looks like they have no wear. Um, oh, wait a minute. See, as I'm saying it, see it? It's right there. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Oops. Well, that certainly proves that they're faux right there, but I could tell by the feel anyhow. Still beautiful, however. Okay. Oh, this looks old. Who's this dude? Hmm. That's actually really cool. I don't know who it is. It's either a saint or the Pope, right? Hmm. Or a bishop or something. Hmm. Not sure. That's interesting, though. Yes. And this might be a little Bakelite bangle but it's so weird what look at this it's so asymmetrical and um it's flat like that's so weird let me see if i can fit it on my hand that's nuts <laughs> i really like it it's like really space agey i think i'm gonna check this for bake light right now and i don't have any simichrome on me simichrome on me but i do have a sink so let me go run this under hot water and check it out for Bakelite. Oh, here's another one. I'll test them both. And I will report back. Let me see if these are real or not. Hold on. Here, Mom, they're still boiling hot. Smell. Tell me what that one, tell me what the red one smells like. What does the brown one smell like? No, I can't smell anything at all. Yeah. So it's a little bit tough for me because I just put some hand lotion on my hands. I just did my nails and the fan is blowing, but I don't smell anything either. So if these were Bakelite, there would be some sort of an odor, which there is not. So still very cool though, especially this red one. That's just like killer. And what's wrong with this brown one too? Go with anything. That's very cool. I like the coloration in that. Nice. Oh, this is beautiful. I think this is one of those harmony balls. Let's see. Yeah, what a lovely, lovely sound this makes. And, whoa, look at this chain. That's got to be sterling. Yeah, of course it is. This is beautiful. So a harmony ball is meant to be worn by pregnant women. And the sound that that jingling sound is meant to calm both the baby and the mother. Or not, you know, or you can just wear it. I mean, I have another harmony ball that I really enjoy wearing a lot. What a pretty sound. I really, really love this. So you have some mother of pearl inlay. This might be a little bit of abalone inlay. And then I don't know what this material is here. Um, I don't know. It's very very pretty. It's very iridescent. Love it. I love this whole thing. This is really great, Mom. You have a really great eye. That cool. was awesome. I'm glad. Good for you. That's cool. And, oh, I hope this one's sterling. Yeah, this one must be sterling. Sure it is. 925 says it right there. I love this link. You know, this reminds me of those things, um, those construction paper garlands that you used to make for the Christmas tree, you know? Oh, yes, That's yes. what this reminds me of that you yeah. do in grammar school. Yeah. I love that. Whoa. This one's very cool. 
This reminds me, I wonder if this is a Piddly Lynx. I sold a Piddly Lynx necklace. I sold it for a bunch of money, too. I got it at a yard sale for not much money, as I recall. And um, let's see who it is. Top Shelf Jewelry. Huh, interesting. Well, I bet you this is the same story. Because what some companies did in the 80s or 90s or whenever is they either sort of replicated the look of these Victorian hearts or they used the actual molds from the Victorian jewelry hearts. This is very, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I've never heard of this name brand before. I would be surprised if this didn't at least have, you know, a little bit of value to it. Like, I don't know, $30 or something. I mean, it's, it's just lovely and it is antique looking. So, wow, that's great. That's great, Mom. Thank you. Very cool. So here's one that looks like it is from the 80s or 90s, maybe newer. Signed. Oh, it is. Huh. Luigi Ultra Craft. Oh, interesting. Okay. Who knows if this has any value? I bet you it, not too much. I don't know. Maybe. I think it's kind of cool. I like the movement of it. You know, it almost looks like a kite in a weird way, like a star kite. That's cool. I like it. It's growing on me. Whoa, this is very, very uh, new wave. This is very 80s, baby. Very fun. Don Lynn, I think that says. I don't know who that is, but I really like this. Oh, look at that. Huh. It's been replaced, this pin part, and it was just glued on. Oh, that's interesting. See that? Look. There's, There's two here. Machine. Yeah, but you know what? This thing gets the job done. But, yeah, if it was worth anything, that probably hurts the value of it. But mm -hmm. it's cool. These um, are plastic for sure. Feel like plastic. Still pretty, though. Oh, what is this thing? What? What is going on here? Hmm, that's kind of amazing. That's got to be real turquoise. Isn't that interesting, turquoise, too? That kind of scratched. How in the world would somebody scratch that? So why don't we do the nail polish remover test on this? I hope this isn't bad to do. I, I do do it sometimes. Uh, if it's like the worst thing ever, let me know because I'm. What, what do I know from turquoise? Not really much. Okay, so there's a lot of nail polish remover here let's see so in case this ruins it let's try to let's try to get it right down here okay uh oh i think blue might be coming off no nothing huh i don't know i'm not sure about that test because you know what part of me mom thinks this if this is some sort of way cool art glass nothing would come off with nail polish remover Right? If you think about it. Gla I agree with you. Of course. Colored glass wouldn't. Ah, see? I don't know why. I read somewhere that that was a test. I mean, I've been doing that test for a long time, but, you know. Oh, this. Well, these are their gold filled with their gold. There's no, no doubt about this. Let's see what we got here. Well, I think I'm doing really terrible, terrible camera work today. I think it's like the whole video is just my fingers going like this. Sorry. All right, so first thing, let's check out these backs. We don't have our keychain chain magnet, right? Okay, the backs, mm -hmm. the backs are 14 carats. Mm -hmm. And let's check out these. So I am thinking, yeah, on these two. Uh, well, that one's not marked, so possible that just the backs are marked. It's possible that those backs don't belong on here. Uh, I don't know. So we'll put this in my testing bag and we will take a look at these at a later date. These are very, very pretty. I really like these a lot. Very elegant and sort of understated. Ooh, I see an Art Deco piece I like. Well, Art Deco style, I should say. Well, this one has to be a JJ. Oh, wow. Look at this. 
three 1920s cars, an awesome Scotty dog, the leash, that's fantastic. Huh, not JJ, well I am surprised. That's very cool though. I actually really love that, like a lot. That's awesome. Love, oh, whoa, what is this bracelet? Hey, how is this one not sterling? Whoa, I have never seen a sterling bracelet that thick. Mylor, 925 Italy. I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it. It's probably Milor or something or Malor, but M-I-L-O-R. We'll say it like that so we can't get it wrong. I love this. That's awesome. Wow. Wow, that's a big, big old thick fold-over clasp. This is a, a beautiful and substantial bracelet. Can you see how big that is? How wide it is? Lots and lots of weight. This has got to be worth some money too, Mom. I would, yeah, I would be, I mean, I don't know. How could you not get like 50 bucks for this? I mean, people pay 50 bucks for a, a top at Kohl's, you know? I mean, I don't know. We'll have to look up comps, but ooh, this is old. Ooh, that might be a little piece of gold. Look at this beauty. Uh, hmm. I don't like the way that looks right there. S and W. Well, that certainly sounds like a company from the 1920s, but I've never heard of S and W. That's beautiful. This is clearly gold filled, I think. Yeah. See? Some of this discoloration, unless that's just dirt. Let me look. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think this one is. I'll tell you, it's beautiful. I love I it. it was old. I, I really did. Yeah, this is an antique for sure. That's great. Very good eye. What? Not good? It's Avon. I always show Oh, is Avon. it? Yes. I know. You know, I always used to think Avon was the cheapest thing, and now I actually really appreciate a lot I of their know. pieces. A lot of pieces are very beautiful. Look at this. This looks real. This is like X's and O's, I guess it's supposed to. Yeah. Rip, well, at least in my Hugs in my pieces. head. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, what is this little piece of jade? Whoa, that's special. Uh, what's all that vertigree going on there? It's really pretty, actually. You can see the light goes right through it. You can't see marks, right, Mom, with your eyes? No, I can't. All right, no problem. Yeah, I can't see anything either. So I don't, I mean, big deal. So the bail isn't real. Well, that's a really pretty item. I'll probably just take that bail all the way off because who needs that vertigree? That's very cool. Love it. That's certainly real jade. That's for sure. Nice. Good. Oh, what in the world is happening? What is happening? This cat has the measles or the chicken pox. <laughs> what? New view. New View has the wackiest stuff. Remember when we got that um, that garnet ring? There was a New View um, bubblegum machine one, remember? Yes. They have the craziest, wackiest stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Love it. Love it. Not very fancy, but... Ooh, Mickey Mouse watches are usually good, yeah? What do you say? Okay, so that says... Authentic original Disney parks. I don't know. I know a lot of people collect Disney and Mickey Mouse like crazy. This is this is really great. It has that rose gold look. It isn't uh, real gold or anything. Oh, what is this crazy thing? Now, who says money doesn't grow on trees? Did somebody say that? What is happening here? That's really fun, actually. JJ. Okay, JJ. I'm not surprised it's JJ. That's a really silly and, and cute novelty piece, right? You like that? Yeah, I do. It's weird, right? Ooh, <laughs> this one's beautiful. Oh, I love this one. That one's great. 
Uh, not marked. Yeah, I was wondering if this one was a, um, what's the one? I sold this necklace a couple of years ago for like a hundred bucks. That was gorgeous. I think it was a Coro that had these pastel. It just reminds me of it, but nobody knows that necklace I'm talking about. So it doesn't matter what I'm saying, but this is absolutely beautiful. I love that. Very summery. Oh, nice. So here's an old pair of filigree earrings. These are awesome. In my experience, these are usually 800 silver. That's probably what these are. Um, I don't see a marking on them, but how pretty. Very lovely. Put them from the side. Hmm. These are kind of the, some of the prettiest ones I've seen, actually. I like the sort of the outer flower lacy. and the inner. Very yeah, lacy. it is lacy. That's really the word for it. Mm -hmm. Very delicate. Old fashioned looking, right? Yes. This one's pretty. Boy, that looks real. Let's see what it says. I was hoping. Let's see. 14 karat gold filled. Wah, oh. wah. It's really pretty though. One thing that makes me think it's gold is it's very, very light, yes. you know? It's pretty actually. I like that. Hmm. Oh, are these Beatrix Potter pins? Whoa, where'd you get these? No, probably in the garden. <laughs> All right, so let's see if we know the characters' names. Let's see. Oh, dear. There's Mr. McGregor. Mm -hmm. Peter uh, Rabbit. Peter Rabbit. Flopsy, is that one? Oh, yeah, Mopsy and Cottontail. And Cottontail? <laughs> so, who, oh, here's the mouse sitting on a spool of thread with a pair of scissors, a thimble, and he's reading a book. Who's he? Oh, who wouldn't? <laughs> who is he? Who is the mouse? I didn't know there was, maybe this is something else. I don't know. I think it is. Is it? it yeah. Well, it looks like it goes together. It doesn't go wrong with So story. there's, that's Peter Rabbit right here. And this is. Oh, it certainly is. And he took the carrots from Mr. McGregor's garden. Ah, and who is she again? The mother, Mrs. Um, oh, dear. Uh, it says F W and Co. Ninety two. Yeah, I don't know what this is. <laughs> well, these have to have resale value. I mean, that's adorable. That's absolutely adorable. That's going to kill me that I can't think of that name. Hmm. Well, we know it's the mom. We know it's her, his mom, right? Right. Yeah. Cute. Those are awesome. I love those. That's got to be collectible. Good. All right. The evil eye. Really I love pretty. this. This is very, very pretty. I think that's glass, actually. This is costume, you can tell. Here's this link. That's a very uh, popular link from the 80s or whatever, 70s or 80s. That's pretty cool. I love the blue. That's nice. It is just a little confusing, the whole evil eye thing, because the evil eye is afraid of the evil eye or maybe maybe the evil eye scares off other stuff too pretty cool this is actually one of the prettier ones i've seen because it's got all the rhinestones i mean this one too you better let this be next okay oh <laughs> i see what you're saying i see what you're saying now this keeps away the evil eye whoa so these are gigantic. Now, one time, I remember this, Mom, years ago, you had sold a rosary like this. This is Moon Glow Thermoset. I can't remember what it was called. It was called, like, Jumbo Rosary or something. Very beautiful. I'm sure that's not what that, it was. But you know what I like about this? It feels so nice. Yes, it does. It's if so you're smooth. If you're saying the rosary. I love this. I love how big the cross is, too. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. Why don't you tell the story of the the first ring you bought? That was the amethyst ring that you gave me on my 16th birthday. You go ahead. Well, tell, okay, tell me if I'm wrong. Now, you worked in the hospital. What did you do in the hospital then, in general, um, when you were 16? Delivered meals and... Uh, okay, so you... Trays and so forth. Okay, so you worked in the kitchen. Oh, no. Really worked on the floors. Okay. Housekeeping. 
Okay, so you did everything. You were a teenager. Yes. In the fifties, right? Yes. So you kept seeing this ring that you really wanted very, very badly yes. because you would walk. Your parents lived in an apartment building, right? Oh, your yeah. dad was a welder, yeah. so your family didn't have a ton of money. Mm -hmm. And so you would pass this jeweler's window, and you spotted an amethyst ring with two diamonds. Yes. And you wanted it. Do you remember how much it was? I cannot say. I love this. I love this. I uh, pay weekly for it. Though. So you finally decided to go in, mm -hmm. and that was your first real piece of jewelry. Yes. yes. And you know I still have it, of course. And so as luck would have it, I was born in February, and that became my birthstone, and now I have that ring it's so good. that I treasure, like, you know, mm -hmm. will treasure for the rest of my life. Good. This one's kind of cheapo. But, yeah, I don't remember the first, I mean, the first piece of jewelry I got was probably at a an auction or something or a flea market or an antique store or all the places, you know, we used to go. Mm -hmm. Um Although, didn't you buy me a diamond ring when I was in first grade? No, when you were four years old. I was four years old. <laughs> That's right. You know something? I forgot about that. Oh, I actually, dear. of course, I have that ring. Mm -hmm. Now, did people think you were nuts to buy oh, a four-year-old? My sister-in-law sister thought that was terrible. Sister-in-law. bought it for you to keep. What did, what did her name begin with? Don't say Rose. her name. Who was it? Oh, 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 oh I see. <laughs> what did she say? Why would a four-year-old yes, have a diamond yes. ring? Yes. Yes. Well, you're, she's probably right. You know, it's probably well, your your fault that I grew up and now yeah, I, I love jewelry. jewelry. What a terrible curse! Yeah. Who wants to grow up and love jewelry? Mm -hmm. Well, these are all not real, but mm -hmm. I love I love these actually. Very cool. So, very yeah, I'm trying to think of the first if I ever bought myself like a substantial piece of jewelry when I was young. I I don't think I did. Um. You know, I have kind of over the last few years, I have on, on eBay, I've only bought, maybe I'll buy one piece a year. That's a couple hundred bucks. You know, I don't really, I don't really spend a yes. lot of money. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, look at this. This is like the dove, the dove of peace holding the earth. And it's, that's very mm -hmm. lovely, actually. I love Lucinda stuff. I buy Lucinda pins if I see them, only if they're cheap. And then I lot them all up together, you see. Sandy, is this real? I think it's so pretty. Ooh, all right. We'll take a look at that one next. Right. This is super cool. Oh, it's super broken. Mm. Oh, no. Mm. I hope you didn't pay a lot for this because that would suck. No, I didn't pay a lot for it. Uh -huh. You know, when you buy a bunch. Together. Well, hopefully, I mean, this is, it's sort of aggravating. I mean, hopefully, if you bought this separate and it wasn't in the bunch, they, they kind of should have pointed it out to you. I mean, I guess it's buyer beware and, and all that. Of course. All right. Well, that's that's too bad. I don't think there's any way to save that. I'm not bitter about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know the way I'm bitter. The way I'm bitter about no, my no, not bitter about my uh, mm -hmm. Coco Chanel leopard pantsuit yes. thing. That I, ooh, this is cool. Look at this thing. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, look this. Oh, I just love this. It moves. What I don't love. I'm just not a fan of these cord necklaces. I'm not either. I really don't like them. And you know I what know they it. do? You can see it right here. Like, they don't stay straight either because if you keep uh -huh. them in your, you know, so you sure. wear them and it all bunches up. Sure. I do like this, though. I think this is pretty fun. I'd maybe put that on a very nice, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, not very nice, but I mean, put it on a nicer, chain. nicer chain. chain. Yes, thank you. Oh, okay. This, yeah, ooh. I think it's so pretty. It looks a little bit too silver to be silver, if that really? makes sense. Yeah, I think the silver, it's like it's its too white or something. Mm -hmm. uh, but I could be wrong, and it probably is sterling, yeah, and it sure probably right. says it. I'm it sure kind right. of, it feels sort of like an aluminum thing to me. Okay. Oh, look at the little angel. But I, I have to look with my loop. But usually... Even though I can't see, I could sort of see the outline of something where I could at least see that there's writing. And then I pick up my loop. Oh, there's writing. Hold on. There is. There is. Let's see what it says. Okay. Huh. Well, I'll be okay. dipped. This bracelet says sterling. Oh, see. Doesn't mean it is. Pretty. It is. I don't know if these charms are or if the bracelet is, you know, you know how people do. I would feel very uncomfortable wearing clip-on earrings that are sterling. Because these are always falling off, aren't they? Well, they're uncomfortable to wear. 
they're terrible. They used to have little sponges you could glue on. I've seen those many, many times yeah. on jewelry through the years. Buy them on a card and take them and glue them. Glue the spongy stuff. Yeah. They sold them separately. Yes, but it didn't help much. Yeah. I know I've worn clip-on earrings and then just been like very screaming. Yeah, yeah. it's like between the high heels and the clip-on yeah. earrings, <laughs> you're ready to <laughs> jump off a bridge, yes. you know? Wow, I love this. I Isn't that pretty? Is this... Probably is this at me. least silver? Yeah, it is silver, actually. It is. Isn't it, it is. It's really, really nice. Yes. What a nice, delicate little... Yes, it is. I love that. Pretty. Probably not, you know, really too valuable. It's just sort of... Um, well, the daintiness of it. It's the daintiness of it, right. Yes. It's totally nice. I mean, it's not something I would wear. Cause so you have this have cute little starfish thing. What you got? I paid ten dollars for this, which is ten. I know I usually don't, but I just thought I love yellow. It's my favorite color, and it's so whoa! Pretty. Isn't it pretty? You know, I have a similar one. You do. I have a similar one. It isn't this. Mine has clear spacer beads, but it is this same sort of buttery yellow yes, yes it's, it's like lovely. a sunshine yellow it yes, doesn't it have that orange in it it's just no. it's a true true it's yellow happy. it's happy it is i know i love yellow let me see i guess there's no, no there's no catch so no how interesting well you could double it up too oh, this is nice sure. and long yeah maybe not quite triple it up but wow that's incredible Oh. Well, I think you did a really great job, Mom, for oh, thank you. for what? For 50 bucks or whatever? I mean, if yeah. we had a yard sale. Yeah. Um, and, 30 and 25. Right. And this was 10. So. And then, and then like, other like other little stuff, like, I don't know. Yeah. This well, might like, be something that sells. <laughs> and NBC. No, 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 no. That's awesome. There's still, like, some other little things. Yeah. And then you had other sort of junky stuff that you said you had picked out before. Right. Um, and we looked at everything, huh? Yes. We got everything. Yes. Okay. And then this and then all that. Yeah. Wow. Well, that went really fast. And then yes. maybe we'll see about our our R2-D2 yeah. thermos like thing. I love it. I love you. Uh, thank you. I love you, too. Ah, uh, You're the best. All right. Over and out, everybody. R2-D2 saying goodbye, too. <laughs> I love it. It's so silly. All right. Hugs and kisses, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thanks for coming. Say bye. Oh, goodbye. <laughs>